so what I've learned, always learning things, what I've learned is that the microclimate are very important. Not just the climate, but the microclimate. So your climate is your your your, your region, yeah. Mm -hmm. But your microclimate is the weather that you get exactly where you live. You know, it's like the weather around your house or your home. Yeah. That's your microclimate. Mm -hmm. Now, just like when when I lived in Slovakia and I lived in Razdoka. Like, Razdoka was warm, but the next village in the next valley was cold. Yeah. Just because of microclimates, yeah? Uh -huh. yeah? Yeah, yeah, Now, the same function, the same functions here along the northeast coast. So, there are very important small differences in the microclimates, which mean that if you travel three, four, five miles, maybe seven, eight kilometers, the weather can be very different. Mm -hmm. uh, the difference between hot and cold, right? You, you can have you can have five to seven degrees difference because of these microclimates. And from history, the reason why these the reason why this place was visited a lot by people in history was the microclimate was that mm -hmm. it's actually a little bit warmer there than than other places and so and this this connects with my my theory that that all business is environmental your, your business depends mm -hmm. business depends upon what is in the environment mm -hmm. around about you it's like uh, one of my previous clients with red bull said that the, the, the number one uh, the number one factor for sales of Red Bull is sunshine. Yeah, the number of the number of hours of sunshine in a day is the number one factor influencing Red Bull sales. It's interesting. Because because on hotter days people buy more cold drinks. Yeah, but uh, why did uh, why it's a question why they decide uh, deciding for for a Red Bull because uh, from my so, so, sorry yeah. for that but because from my perspective I think the Red Bull is not only yeah 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 partially could be that that okay that uh, due to hot weather outside mm -hmm. people want, people wants to have a cold drink but for yeah but it's let's say feedback or view of people which are around me, they, they are buying Red Bull, not that it's hot outside, but they are buying Red Bull because they are tired and they need some some refresh. Yeah, I, and I, I guess the sun makes people feel tired as well, because A, people go outside and are more active, and B, you know, the being in the sun is mm -hmm. is tiring, mm -hmm. tiring for people. So, um, you know, this this, you know, the classic example is uh, people do more sports activities when, uh, mm -hmm. and they can't, and maybe they want to drink alcohol, mm -hmm. but they can't drink alcohol for whatever mm -hmm. reason. So they they look for a second best option, which would be. Um, uh, an, an energy an energy drink or the second most convenient option you know what's what is close that I can get and so it'll be whatever is in the bar whatever is in the shop whatever mm. is uh, mm. whatever is available locally and you know you and I know that the the best most healthy thing to have would be either water or a milkshake or a smoothie or you know mm. some kind of vitamin drink but um most most places don't sell these things um, so the, uh, the 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 drinks makers also sponsor a lot of festivals right mm. red red bull sponsors more festivals than anyone else on the planet yeah yeah and um yeah what do people you know what most festivals are in the summer 
and people are outside and they want to be in the sun and you know they they, they want a cold drink so they buy red bull um but but it's interesting i think that the environment affects the sales far more than people think or realize mm. um you know the same way that all industry is constructed around elements of travel or transportation mm. where there's a bridge over a river that's why your city is there because your city cities it, it people have to cross the river somewhere so first there's a village then there's a town then there's a city and it all builds up so uh there's there, there, there's there's a lot of environmental stuff you know why why is harmony it's paper factory where it is because um because the water right it gets it gets the water from the river in that area and um uh, you know water fresh water in and dirty water out right yeah right. um so uh so that, that that that's kind of interesting interesting fact um scotland here's a marketing thing for you scotland is the only country in the world that i know of that does not have coca-cola as the number one uh, fizzy drink or soda drink sold. Scotland is the only country in the world. And who, uh, what is number one? Pepsi. I, iron, iron Brew. Iron Brew, which is something you've never heard of before. Right? Uh-huh. Iron Brew is like a Scottish fruit flavored Coca-Cola drink. But it's a uh-huh. Scottish company. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, uh, it, it means that it's a local comp- com- uh, company. Yeah, this, this, the Scots are nationalists, right? So mm. uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 a Scot- it's a Scottish version of Coca-Cola, basically. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a bit like a cross between Coca-Cola and Fanta. If you know Fanta, the orange, the fizzy yes, orange yes. drink, yeah. yeah, it's a bit like a so it's a bit like a Scottish version of, of Fanta, but mm-hmm. uh, it, it's interesting how proud people are of their nationality, their country, mm-hmm. and their identity, and it it actually leads people to buying specific products. Uh, 